Hey guys, so I'm back this week with a new video and this one's going to be a little bit different because I feel like my face is itching because um, I'm not going to do books. It's going to be TV blah. It's going to be TV related. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk to you about TV shows that I've been loving lately. Um, some are old, some are new, some are finishing, so that's why I'm mentioning them. But yeah, so first one that comes to mind is How I Met Your Mother um, because it's finishing soon and it's great. If you've never seen How I Met Your Mother, I would suggest you check it out. It's a group of friends and stuff that they go through, but it's from the perspective of one friend um, as he's recounting their tales to his children to eventually let his children know how he ended up meeting their mother. It's this crazy long tale. But it's hilarious. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Um, it's ending soon. So another one that's finishing that I'm loving is Being Human US. Not the UK because there is a UK version, but this is the US I'm talking about. Um, I love Being Human, the US version. I like Being Human, the UK version, but I love <laughs> I love the US one. Um, I'm a Satan shipper forever. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's so good. They're finishing and I'm so upset that they're not getting more seasons, but production stuff or whatever. Um, it's about supernatural creatures. You have a ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf all living together in house trying to be human. At least two are trying to be human. <laughs> so it's basically what they get up to and their dynamic and relationship and how it works out with them trying to be human. Um, it's a great show. If um, you check out the US one, I would say you could, should check out the UK one also. But they're not exactly the same. Of course, they you know took some kind of leeway with the US version. But it's still good. Next show, I have to say... Because it just finished, well actually didn't just finish, it finished like a month ago. But I think it's still on my mind right now because I was on Tumblr and I was looking at stuff. So it's Lost Girl. It's a Canadian show and I love Lost Girl so much, so much. Because I am, what's their shipping name? I don't remember their shipping name. But I totally ship Dyson and Kenzie. Like, five ever. <laughs> And I ship Valcubus. Yes. So, anyways, yeah. It has to do with this woman who is the main character that um, was, doesn't know what she is. Um, and she ends up meeting a friend, well, a girl on the road who's kind of like an outcast like her. And they end up finding out what the main character is and get pulled into their world kind of thing. It's a supernatural show. Um, so it's really good. I would suggest to check it out. Next show I've been really loving, Vikings. I love Vikings. I, for whatever reason, didn't get to watch it when it came out, even though I wanted to. And now, like, oh my god. I mean, I love it because I get to watch it all together, like all at once. <sighs> Lagatha is my girl. Like, my girl. <laughs> I love her. She's my favorite character of the show. You know, I love Baby Blue, the main character. His name's not Baby Blue. <laughs> it's Ragnar. Log was it L Ragnar Lothbrook? I think that's the name. Um, I love him, but I love my girl more. I love her more. Um, so yeah, it has to do with, uh, it's like historical fiction, I guess, with the Vikings, which actually did exist throughout history. And um, they are using real people that actually existed as well. Um, it's just like a lot of fighting and like politics and just it's so good <laughs> I don't know how to describe it like it's really good if you're if you're, if you're like a fan of Game of Thrones and you know shows like that then Vikings the show I've been really into is the tomorrow people I feel like people either hate it or they love it but I love it I like it I think there was a show in the 70s called the tomorrow people but and I think the kit the people had powers but it was in space so maybe this is like a spin-off or something or it's like related, I don't know. But um, it's so good, it's on the CW and um, it takes, it has to do with the main character who's a boy who's in high school, 
who ends up getting powers of some sort and he doesn't know what it is and what's happening what's going on and he's basically breaking out <laughs> and he finds out that he is part of a group of people that they term the tomorrow people and the people who aren't tomorrow people there's an organization end up um, targeting them so he has to kind of straddle the line between a tomorrow person and then a regular person and he's like doing some like double agent type stuff really good check it out um, and the last show I would say is Helix I like Helix I don't know what stops me from saying I love it but I still keep watching it <laughs> I don't know but it's really good um, it has to do with an some kind of outbreak happening in one of the research centers in the Arctic Circle and the CDC ends up going to check it out and while they are in the research center things get crazy I think we're up to like episode 10 or something and um, so every episode is one day that's passed so everybody's getting infected and nobody knows what's going on they don't know how to stop it they don't know where it's coming from and they're all like stranded in that place in the research center and we still don't know you know what's going on what is this virus <laughs> Yeah, those are all the shows that I've been loving and into and just have been on my mind lately. So I would suggest to try and check any of those shows out. I'll list them below so you can find them. And yeah, so tell me what are your favorite shows? What shows are you loving um, now? <laughs> and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye!